Yeah, I know how you feel, Wolfie. I don't like this place much either. Weird, wispy things here. Welcome back to the Let's Play, guys. Um, there's people here. There's tons of people here. And they are... Souls. H Hello? Just step into the painting, he said. Yeah, sure. Like it's that simple. Jeez, okay. So, these are all people who, like Serana said, have been uh, trapped in black soul gems or otherwise had their souls uh, given as sacrifice to the ideal masters. Yeah, I know, buddy. That's a terrible thing. It's, um... Horrifying, like Johan's... All, I don't remember how much I've, I've established in the past that Johan knows about the Soul Cairn. But he's always... Like, he's read that using black souls is different than using white souls. And and always kind of suspected it was bad. Beware the dragon Dunavir, destroyer of souls and harbinger of the fall. Well, that's, that sounds great. There's a dragon here, too. Wonderful. Um, now he has the evidence to kind of back that up. And prove that, man, he was super duper right. Well, that's terrifying. This place is depressing. I don't like it. I want to spend as little time here as possible. Holy crap. Okay. So, if I was a weird vampire princess or whatever... I would go to like a, like a big fortified location so that's ah, a weird skeleton okay this is the other way the uh, Dawn Guard DLC brought powerful skeletons back what is this this place feels new probably just misremembering. I don't ever come to the Soul Cairn. Um, but I would head to a big fortified location. So maybe this big place right here. I don't know, I'm trying to justify how I would know where to find her. Hey, Wolfie. Uh, weird chest. And there's, there's stuff here, I guess. Stuff that's fallen through the realms. Um, okay. Cool. Wow, these guys are everywhere. Jeez. Alright. This place is crazy. What is that? A giant soul gem? Ah! Uh, giant soul gem that's slurping my soul. Okay. Let's stay away from that forever. Uh, soul embers. And I guess I could take an empty soul gem from this place, right? Not the end of the world. That looks like a barrier of some kind. So let's stay away from it. <laughs> this place is creepy. I don't like it. And there's a lot to do in the soul cairn. Don't get me wrong. I just... This is not the playthrough where you're going to see it. <laughs> Because my character is not the kind of person who would want to spend a very long time here. Foot itches like crazy. Uh, anyway. Like, like... He, ha he has a very get-in-and-get-out attitude. Definitely not going to be harvesting souls from any soul fissures. Who knows where those souls have been, or who they belong to. Itch. Like, it's kind of cool, because this is... Oh, why am I so itchy? Dear Lord. Um, it's kind of cool, because this is a plane of oblivion, and he's really interested in that conjuration stuff, but, like... Also, you know... Not... He's not that interested. It's, it is interesting, though, just in general. She's lightning and everything. Oh, the sky is particularly weird. Okay. Um, it is inter- Oh, hey, a horse. It is interesting to see 
all this stuff here. Like this, this carriage. What the hell is this? Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. Uh-huh, what's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. Yeah, it sucks. How in the name of Xanathar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? Uh, no, you look too smart for that. So that's how you got here? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. Great. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Hmm. Um. See you around. If you live long enough. Thanks, man. So it seems like... Like, he wasn't that surprised by that. This has got to be his corpse, right? So it seems like... Um, he was... Interesting. Take that. He was sent here alive and then died and then his soul just stayed here. So it's... It's other... Alive people coming through isn't unheard of, but man, that's weird. That horse was weird too. Like, clearly there are people out there powerful enough that they can just portal people here. Probably have to, like, really devote themselves to the masters or something, right? To get, like, extra power from them, but that would just that more bind themselves to this place. That's probably something that Valerica didn't want to do, right? Jeez. Like, I'm getting a little off track. Like, I'm, I'm, start, I'm feeling like this is probably where she'd go. This place up ahead. But I'm getting a little off track, but like... Only because Johan is a curious enough guy that some of this would warrant his attention. He, he's having to kind of actively uh, redirect his attention towards his goal. I don't know if you guys can hear that one of my dogs is barking at something. I'm actually going to go check on what that is. I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, a ruin of one of these weird ruins. And then Barrier in front of this place. Okay, sure. Still. I'm, I'm getting the sense. Yeah, there's definitely somebody there. Hey, is this her? Come on, get up here. Hello? Hello? Mother! It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. That was easy. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Hey. Have you lost your mind? No, you don't. You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So All right. how does it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? Don't Pain like that you know I'm a vampire hunter. <laughs> ...under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Uh, <laughs> this is no ruse. I want to keep her safe. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade... That's not what I, I do. It hard to believe and this is very to stupid dialogue. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. Uh, she did. She's not stupid. That's why we're here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? I didn't say that either. Because she assumes a lot. To an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Oh, what do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Okay. That's a stupid question, because anybody who knows anything about the lore would know the answer to that. I get the gist of that, but explain to me exactly what that entails. Like myself. 
Serana <clears throat> was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summit. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. Yeah. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Uh-huh. So the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. You're saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I won't allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? I'll kill him. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Or you're just stupid. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? Yeah, you're not me, though. <laughs> What's Serana's opinion on all this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. It's not Whether your... or not, you've become one of us. You, have any, you don't have any right to say that. Care. You're still a vampire hunter at heart. Really not. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Not exclusively. We're evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Not really. Uh, Serana believes in me. Why won't you? Serana? This stranger aligns himself with those that would put him down. Yeah, you're a good boy, Luffy. I should trust you to him. Telling her off for me. Has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. Ooh, burn! How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed, but he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? So, if you'd only open your the eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood. You'll be in terrible danger. I don't think she disagrees with that. decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. At least she got it. Forgive me. If you want it's yours. Well. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. Yeah, do you have not asked me anything I relevant? I assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since. We need to get this barrier down and let's go. you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds the Oh, you can't do it? God dang it. What do I need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that mm. surround these ruins. At their base, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All right, we'll be back. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls it. Yeah, I heard. I heard about that. It's fine. Whatever. Be wary of him. It's fine. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Yeah, I'm not not worried about it. How did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the ideal masters, the custodians of this place. And what was that? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn. And in exchange, I would provide the ideal masters the souls that they crave. Oh, gross. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. So they tricked you. The ideal masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. And you became trapped. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. And, and you've been imprisoned here for all that time. Time has very little meaning to me. 
Consequently, it has little meaning to the ideal masters. So it's a waiting game with no I end. All right. She could call this the ultimate waiting game. Yeah, okay. She, see, she gets Each it. watching the other to see which will give in. Uh, don't plan to do that. Who are the ideal masters? I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the soul can, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. It's kind of like demi danger princes. And what do they look like? Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul can. I huh. believe there's more to it than that. How so? I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Hmm. And the crystals, then? Conduits, through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. Why would they require sustenance? The ideal master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for peace. Yes, clearly, but why? It's the reason for the soul cairn's I, existence. This isn't an answer to why. The only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. What do they provide in return? The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. Why not conjure an Atronach However, or Daedra? The majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal masters wind up here as harvested souls. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Alright, well, we'll be back, like I said. And keep my daughter safe. Always. Uh, we good? We good? Tallest Spires. Um, it's probably one there. Alright, cool. We've got a pretty good idea where I'm going. Let's head this way first. Quick save, because you know I did stuff. Uh, I really don't like. I like some of her dialogue there. Some of it's good, but it felt like whoever was implementing the quest dialogue there just wanted to get to the point, because she seems to know that you're a Dawn Guard, even though she should have been in here for so long that she has no idea what the Dawn Guard are, at least in a modern sense. Like even if you were wearing the Dawn Guard armor, there's no reason to assume that she would recognize it as what it is. Like, maybe the iconography on it would it would imply that you're someone who fights undead, but, like, every adventurer fights undead. That's, that's not something that's too outlandish, right? I don't know, it just feels very strange to me. I need to be careful, too. I'm not used to my weaknesses as a, as a vampire yet. Actually, that's that's worth checking on, because I have a mod installed that gives me stuff. Um, yeah. Let's see. Do I have anything? Vampire, vampire. Yeah, vampire. Um, I, I have recently fed and am sated. I haven't recently fed. I was recently turned. There's a difference. Uh, you know, same same difference. Weakness to fire, 20% weakness to fire, so that offsets my resistances a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, okay. I mean, I imagine it'll get worse if I, you know, don't feed, but like, I've got vampiric drain, right? I don't think that's... I don't know if that's something I would want to tap into. Do I also have... Like, Serana also gives me... Um, I have, like, all of these, too. Vampire's Will. Okay, so that's Calm, basically. Improved Night Vision. Uh, Vampire's Seduction. It's also kind of, like, Calm. Okay, I can command people to a point, and I have Vampire Lord, which might be Vampire's... Okay, no, I looked at that one already. I could imagine Vampire Lord be something that maybe I, I tap into by instinct, trying to turn into a 
a um, werewolf or something. Right, you guys are uh, annoying. Can you die, please? And Wolfie, you handle that one. I'll get the other one. In theory, anyway. There we go. Dead. Cool. And um, I can see streamers of soulness getting sucked into this. Yeah, that's got to be that keeper guy. Okay. Where, where'd the other one go? There we go. One up close, one, one up far. Oh, he's got very powerful looking stuff. Cool. Great. Uh... He didn't even stagger. Holy shit. Now he did. Good. Finally. He's got no face. Neat. Will you die, please? Finally. Jeez. What do you have? A black soul gem. Don't care. And a dragon bone battle axe. It's worth a lot, but it's heavy, so I'm not going to bother. And now Wolfie's running off to go help over there. It's very cool. And I saw what looked like it might have been another tall spire over this way. So they can handle themselves. There's a lot of guys, but they can handle themselves. So I'll head off this way. Hi, Wolfie. You coming with me or are you running back over there? There's something over there. Dear God. Why can't I summon them where I want to in, in, in this place? It's so weird. Alright, well, Wolfie's got that one. I want to get this done as fast as possible. Again, I want to get out of here. This guy is someone as a fan I would have a reason to talk to, but as a as a character in character, I would not. That's Jube. He's the NPC you meet on the prison boat heading into Morrowind at the beginning of Morrowind. And um, you, he has a little quest here. And it, it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Um, tells some more wind lore from after the game is after when the game is set, but again, as a as as a as a character in character, I have no reason to um, to to care. So, you know. okay, he just turned into a monster. That guy did. Oh, hey, that's a horse skull. Die. You guys are weak sauce. Am I more resistant to frost now that I'm a vampire? No, oh, I'm sorry, Wolfie. I think I, I think I hit Wolfie. Hey, you're a little tougher than the other one. Um, now you're not. Now you're dead. You're, you're about as dead as the other one. Die. Hey, Wolfie, where are you? Are we good? Nope. All right, hold on. <laughs> we will be in a second. I like this perk. Like, this is an issue. <laughs> okay, we're cool now. I guess I do... do a lot of damage, though, so, like, that makes sense. Um... I thought I saw another... thing. Another enemy. Like, close to me. Where was it? Worried it's gonna. Yeah, there's there's one. Okay, that must be it. I'm worried it's gonna like reappear and flank me. Yeah, there he is. Get him. And he's dead. Good. Yeah. All right, my friends are taking a long time catching up with me kind of have feel like I should go back. But, like, also I don't want to. <laughs> I also don't remember where I'm supposed to go to find the guy to turn in Arvac's skull. Is that, like, a quest I can turn on? Retrieve Arvac's skull. And I'm only still only seeing two Markers in here. Okay, never mind. I'll just have Arvac skull forever and no summon Arvac spell. That's fine. Yeah, 
there's the place. It, um... Cool, it has no foundation. That's neat. How am I gonna get up there? Oh, come on. Betty. Lucy. Get him. Hi. You guys are almost as squishy as Stormcloaks. Um. This looks kind of sus. Gooey. Uh, cool. Let's see, do I have... Yes, okay, cool, neat. Um, just... Oh, hey, man. Just because I'm so high up, I might be able to just Fusro Daw somebody off the edge, right? Yep, here we go. More batteries getting sucked dry. Don't want to touch the soul bits. Oh, hey, man. That is, um... Really disappointing, actually. I was hoping he'd at least be a little harder to knock off than that. Cool. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, this... <sighs> Literally everything in this world is becoming too easy for me at this point. It's, um... Very uninteresting. God, did I touch something that I'm allergic to? Jesus Christ. There seems to be something in there, so I'm gonna do that. Can I not go behind here? Alright, whatever. It's dumb. Gotta go all the way around. God damn it. That is definitely not where I put her. But alright, she's getting sucked by the ideal masters. But she, she might be into that. Who knows, she's a weird demon thing. Alright, seriously, where are Serana and Feindal? Maybe they hooked up. And you're so good for him. And good for her, honestly. The hell was that? What the hell was that? It was a very weird sound. I didn't like it. Whatever. No, no red dots. Hey, that's right. There's no red dots. So where are my friends? My wolf keeps finding me, but none of my other friends can. Usually Feindal is the one who randomly teleports to me. I'm tired. I'm a vampire. Don't vampires just sleep as like a way to pass time, basically? And there's an enemy. God dang it. It's another one of those crystals. Right, well, whatever. I'm just ignoring everything in here. Yeah, if you guys want to see more of the Soul Cairn than what I'm showing, which I don't blame you if you do. Like I said, it's not not cool. It's just not my thing, right? Um, I wholeheartedly recommend you search on YouTube uh, Curating Curious Curiosities Soul Cairn. Um, that, that's a pretty good one. Or just search Soul Care and Secrets on YouTube, right? Oh, jeez. Wolfie. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like we're coming up on it. Will this one be floating in the sky, too? No, this one looks like it actually has a building on the base of it, which is, you know, always cool. That's, this one's actually kind of 
kind of intricate. Oh, yeah, there's the guy. Hey! Leave my only friends alone! Apparently I don't have anybody else other than them. And, and Wolfie, obviously. Sword and board. Interesting. We've got a, we got a two-hander, a one-hander, and a archer. And, um... Chris. No, not sword. You know what I mean. Um, and, um... They were, they were pretty tough, all things considered. It took me more than two hits to kill them. Which is always a surprise nowadays. Alright, cool. Oh, hey, there's still one of you alive. Genuinely shocked. <laughs> Alright, now get back to where I was. Back, back to that big-ass castle. Big, big asshole. Yeah. Oh, I'm a child. Seriously, where are Feindal and Serana? This is so weird. Unless they're still fighting and I just don't see the enemy markers anymore. What's a large sack doing here? Oh, it's these things I keep seeing all over the place. Um, spellbook. Cool. Oh, hey. Yep, up. And there's another one. Let's get it. Jeez, you took more than two hits, too. You're basically as strong as those keepers. Good job, Wolfie. Wolfie was a good was a good choice. I, I like Wolfie. I honestly expect him to die by now, though. I'm glad he didn't, don't get me wrong, but like I kind of expected him to. Like if you okay, this place does look spoopy. Like look at it. Like I've I've heard people saying this place looks samey and dumb. Like it looks spoopy. The buildings look like gravestones from a distance. It looks like a giant graveyard, and that's neat. And there is a ton to do here. There's like a Reaper guy who's really powerful, really cool. He's a secret boss akin to like. Um, What's his name? God. The the frost giant in in Dawnguard. That you can summon after you beat him. What's his name? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's kind of akin to him. You have to like find certain things, and then this guy will appear in, in the right place. So that's really cool. And, like, there's, like, tons of neat stuff in these buildings. And, like, I don't know, it, it's fine. It's just, again, it's not a place that I would have any excuse to geek out about in character. Unlike the, the Deadlands from The Cause, for example, where, um, like, they were just so new. I had the excuse that it, it I had the excuse that that was new, right? One of those dumb crystals. Where are they? Because I'm pretty sure I need them for more dialogue. There's an enemy back there that I apparently haven't killed. Will you run and get that? No, you're just going to follow me? Alright, sure, whatever. Maybe I completely lost my way there for a second. Maybe once I get there, they'll just kind of appear. Kind of like when I... Um, Oh, there's, there's Feindal. Feindal! I found you! Is Serana here, too? Hey! I found both of you. Awesome. And I'm, I apparently... What, what, what about return Arvac's skull? Did I return Arvac's skull? I, I updated return Arvac's skull, I guess. Is that a thing that just happened? Why did that flash up there? 
What the hell's going on? <laughs> this is so weird. Um, this way? Yeah. Uh. Okay, she's fighting stuff? I've never seen her fighting stuff before when we get here. That's cool. Hey. You managed to destroy all three keepers. Very impressive. Yeah, I'm more powerful than your husband. Give me the scroll. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier uh, down, he's almost certain to. It's fine. I kill dragons every goddamn day. It's really fine. I promise. Did she? Did she like sneak out and like come? fight bad guys or something? There. After you. Looks like she has the same powers that that mod what gives to Serana, too. That's pretty cool. So where are we going? Like, do we have to go all the way back to the goddamn castle? Did you, like, wander away? How, where is it? So I was pretending like I knew where it was because I had the <laughs> quest marker. Also, just, you know... Come on, move. Move, let's go. Um, also, let's talk a little bit about stuff, right? So the Ideal Masters let her in here. Will you go, please? Is just a bit further. Then go! Walk Follow towards it. Stay close. Yes! Your eyes open for yes, you said that. Walk! Oh my god. Where's, where's the castle? Come on! Oh dear god, did she bug out? Where's the goddamn castle? Where are we supposed to be going? It's got like big weird towers, right? Where are the big weird towers? Is that them? Is that them over there? If I go over there, will she follow me? Oh, this is stupid. This is really stupid. Will you walk, please? God damn it! Move. There's an enemy over here somewhere. No, the the ideal masters let her in here. Why are my summons not going where I want them either? This is this place is weird. I don't like it. Um, the ideal masters let her in here because they wanted to try to trick her into giving them, um, give it, wanted to trick her into giving them their, her soul, and um, that makes Johan think that he was right not to give them part of a dragonborn soul, right? Oh, is she finally going? She's finally going. Um, it feels like that would have been at least as valuable to them as a, as a daughter of Cold Harbor's soul, right? Why are you stopping again? Shut up, Jib. God, where are you going? Where are you going? Isn't that it right there? I don't understand what's happening. Well, let's just follow her until something happens, I guess. I don't I don't know. <sighs> Stupid. But um Yeah, and that might be why if they let Feindall enter without a problem. Because, like, what is that? You know, glass shield and various garbage. Come on. Go to the castle. Go. Uh, let them come in here because, without, like, trying to take their souls, because, like, they were trying to get Johan in here so they could hopefully trap him. You know, make, like it's a way of explaining why Feindall is able to come. Like he's again, he's not really supposed to be able to come, as far as I know. But like ATF is useful for that kind of thing. No, is is that the castle over there? Where where are we going? <sighs> All right, I didn't need to do anything to that guy. Yep. Okay. 
Man, our team is pretty strong. Get walking. Come on. This is stupid. Here's the horse again. Alright, cool. She is really starting to piss me off. We're we're almost there technically. But it's like it's been hours in game. Hours. And she's like heading that direction, but like in the least direct way she possibly freaking could. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm worried about leaving her alone. I don't know what she'll do. Like look at this, she could have just walked up the goddamn hill. But she had to come over here to this stupid road? Why? It's so stupid. I hate her. Oh my god, finally. Uh, thank god. So ridiculous. Just, just the dumbest thing. Where's my wolf? There he is. Ask and I shall receive. Place is neat. Yeah, I, I see that. It's fine. Whatever. I got this. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's different than most dragon stuff I've seen before. I oh, made friends. Uh, literally, I shall unmake them. These are weak friends. Where's he at? Where's the dragon? Oh, you're a little tougher. Only a little, though. Where's he at? Seriously. There he is. Hi! How are ya? He's doing that thing again. Uh, you guys handle the lackeys. I shall attack the dragon. Yep. Oh, he's going down real fast. He's not very powerful. Where's he at? Dragon, dragon. <laughs> yeah, see, that wasn't too bad. Told you I had it. All right, give me the soul, or not. All right, sure, whatever. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm used to it. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernavir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... Yeah, go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes his Or I just killed him because I'm a dragonborn. But, you know, assuming you're right, how long would that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin You pace a lot. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Hey, then now, give me the thing. Get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Cool, give me the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take this. Just, just so you know. Hey, here it is. Cool. That's, it. That's the last scroll. Come on, let's take it to Dexter. All right. Uh, thank you for everything. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. Yeah, you're staying here. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cole. If I return to Tamriel. That increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. Alright. We'll come back for you when we can, tell you what happened. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. Yeah, no shit, lady. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Well, yeah, I just took your scroll. <laughs> um, so, real quick, I want to check something. 
Yeah, I still have night vision as a vampire, which I assumed. Um, I equipped that, like, supposedly better vampire night vision. But, and I'll try it out eventually, but, like, I have my predator vision night vision installed. Like, as, as, like in, like, hotkeyed. So, like... I'm, I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna stick to that. I like the atmosphere here. Very, um... Halloween chic. Quick save again. Um, it, oh yeah, right. Least intuitive door placement of any place ever. <clears throat> oh. Are you gonna have a problem? Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Like your voice. Thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. Yeah, I could have gathered that from context. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. Fair enough. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. Surprising, because you weren't very strong. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Cool. I found you equally worthy. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. Yeah? I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Okay. What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn mm -hmm. in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Unintended? Okay. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. From here, who wouldn't? What's stopping I you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. Gross. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. Hmm. Then how can I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Okay. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my thum. That seems like a pretty good deal. Just call your name, and that's it? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. Hmm. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time. That's actually right. wrong. You have to speak it at the ground. <laughs> uh, why do you call me Quinarin? In my language, the Quinarin is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Okay, you mentioned that. I'm not really, not technically a dragon, though. You are the Dova Keen. The Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body, but you have earned the right to bear this title. Cool. And how did you end up here? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. Mm -hmm. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. Hmm. Were you a part of that? I was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. All right, get where this is going. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dillon, the ancient Dylan. forbidden art that you call necromancy. Hmm. 
So you sought the soul cairn for answers like so many others. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched. That I could raise legions of the undead. Well, I mean, you have a dragon soul, of course you'd be really powerful. I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. Ah, and that's how they got you. They didn't tell you she was immortal. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception <laughs> over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. Yeah, that sucks, they man. Had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Hmm. Makes me even more glad that I didn't give part of my soul to them because that might have been their way to possess a dragon soul. Is that why you're free ish now? Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The soul cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again. Or I would surely perish. Hmm. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. Alright. Cool. And that actually, uh, Valerica has a bit of dialogue. Uh, you can ask her, if can I return here safely? That's primarily for if you do the partial soul trap route and then recover your soul. Uh, can I come back here without having to do that again? And she says yes, because this place remembers you and you kind of remember it in like a metaphysical sense, you know? And it's implied that what he's talking about here is a much longer form version of that exact phenomenon, which means Valerica, I don't remember if she ever comes back to the castle, but she might not be able to come back to the castle from here because she might be like Dernavir, someone who just can't ever leave this place again. Well, thank you very much, buddy. Um, I don't know if they ever fixed it, but I, there was apparently a bug for a while where you could summon him here. And, like, there would literally just be two of him in the same place, which was kind of funny. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though, because that would break my immersion. I never did figure out what was up with that weird horse. It's a shame. But, um, as previously mentioned, I don't, I don't want to waste too much time in this place. So let's head back home.